This is it. The finale of Pokemon Recharged Yellow. Months of work, months of Pokemon lost have all led up to this moment. We are challenging Kanto's Elite Four. Do we have what it takes? I guess we'll find out. Let's do this. Yo, what's going on everybody? Phantom here bringing you the finale of Pokemon Recharged Yellow. Hopefully you liked that intro. I uh, put some time and effort into it. But off screen, I did not beat Victory Road. I think I said that last time. Um, biggest news, we cannot use Moltres while in Nuzlocke mode. That is a rule that they have in Nuzlocke mode that I had no idea about. So on our Elite Four team, there is no Moltres and it was a dagger in my heart figuring that out. So just gonna get that right out of the way. But this is our Elite Four team. Off screen, I have leveled up all of these people and I have taken time, I have taken notes and I have gone through each Pokemon's moves and tried to figure out which one is best and worst. And as you can see, these are all the ones that we left in the box, like Lapras, see, KFC. Uh, we left Henry behind, we left Weezing, we left Polly behind, but the worst thing happened while I was grinding. I had already kind of got my team set up in my brain, but I hadn't fully committed to it, but I was just gonna level them up anyway. But we lost Donut the Snorlax due to an explosion Graveler. And you would not believe the feelings of sadness and rage and hatred towards any Graveler that I have seen at all. So, we got over that. But now this is our Elite Four team. So, we have Gobstopper and level 63 is the level cap. Um, we went with Gobstopper because the attack is super high and the defense is really high. The only thing we're going to have to be careful about is the special defense, but it has sturdy, but it's old sturdy. But we have Rock Blast, Earthquake, and Rock Slide. Mud Sport's kind of just there. We have Jackie, who is adamant, which is fantastic. And Jackie's attack is up, special attack is down. Defenses are great, speed is also great. But Jackie has Rock Tomb, Brick Break, Sky Uppercut, and Mock Punch. And... All of these, I think, are physical moves, so Jackie is ready to do some damage. We have Chicken, who has Wing Attack, Ancient Power, Bite, and Hyper Beam. It learned Hyper Beam by Level Up, which is awesome. And it has Rock Head, but its stats, 171, really strong attack, special defense, 112, defense, 108, speed, 221. Really, really good. And that's kind of what we're, we're just wanting, a really, really good Rock Flying type just in case we have to bring it in on Bruno. We just want a fast flyer because wing attack does a really good amount of damage and hyper beam is always strong. So kind of got that covered. But then we have tail who has surf and psychic, which will be huge. Disable is also kind of there as like a, hey, something might happen and we need to disable that right out the gate. And then we have headbutt just in case we need to do some damage that's not special but our defense is up special attack is down which does suck but the defenses are kind of what are important and has own tempo which prevents confusion and then we have kool-aid our blastoise and ups water moves in a pinch but again defense is really good 146 and 140 for special defense and defense speed is 151 which is really really good and then it has surf bite protect and ice beam ice beam is kind of there to take care of a lance and any flyers Protect is there for Lance as well because of Hyper Beam. Because if it goes Hyper Beam, we slap down a Protect. It takes the next turn or it switches and then we hit it with an Ice Beam and that'll be pretty good. And then we have Pretzels who has Shockwave, Bite, Thunderbolt, and Quick Attack. Thunderbolt's kind of what we're going for. Has Volt Absorb. I don't know if that'll really come into play very much. Maybe against our rival's own Pretzels. But, I don't know, but the speed, 231, special defense is 126, but special attack is 154. So, I'm hoping, Lorelei, we can just throw it in there, and we can just smoke all of them. Maybe not Jinx, Jinx might be the hard one, but everybody else, we should be able just to smoke them. Um, but we do have some items that I wanted to kind of distribute. So we have the leftovers. And I think, honestly, the leftovers, for right now, 
will be very beneficial on pretzels. Um, black glasses, I think, will be very beneficial, maybe on chicken, just so that it can give that bite some extra damage. Um, but we also have these. So I definitely want to use a protein on Jackie. Jackie's going to get one, and chicken is going. Oh, I guess chicken's not going to get one. And he's not going to have one. Uh, but Jackie will take both then. Um, but zinc. Let's see, let's give a zinc to Tails. Iron. We'll give iron to Gobstopper. Carbos. We're definitely going to need to give that to Chicken. Because. Oh, I guess we can't. And I guess we can't. Um, I guess we can't there. Can't there. So I guess we can't give any speed, which is okay. You know, if they've got all their EVs up in speed, that is fine. Uh, but we don't have too many items. We have been planting berries. So we do have lots of Petra, lots of Lepa, lots of Citrus. So the plan for those is to not really have to worry once I get into the Elite Four. The plan is to not need to worry about um, running out of PP or Agatha could definitely do some poison and that's terrifying to me. So that's why we loaded up on the Petra Berries and we will not be um, going back and forth all the time. Hopefully not, hopefully not. But we do have things, since this is the finale, what we're gonna do is we're probably just gonna sell everything that we don't need and we'll use all of that to buy full restores, and things like that so then once we're in between battles because we're not going to use them in battles but once we're in between battles that we can take some time regroup potion up no revives because this is nuzlocke mode and we're playing a nuzlocke and we're not going to do that especially not in the finale that's crazy crazy talk um but now we just have to get through here so i did spend time grinding outside i did not go through all the trainers so don't expect them to be done because i said that I was gonna leave Victory Road for you guys so that you guys could still see it, if that's interesting to you. Um, and then you can see me struggle before all of this stuff. Because I could have gone all the way through, but I didn't really want to skip out on content for you guys. I wanted you guys to be able to see it if you wanted to and not just jump to the Elite Four. And I wanted to do one big slam bang episode. So that's why we're here. Um, we might be using speed up. I don't know. I just don't really want to mess up on these puzzles. Okay, yeah, but we'll like do this. Because, Mike, we're already leveled up. There is no point in losing any Pokemon right now. That would be worst case scenario. Um, but we're just going to put this boulder over this button. Uh, we already got Moltres, you know, so I'm like, there's not really anything for us in here that we're dying to have. Um, we're just going to run. Um, and when I was doing research for which Pokemon uh, I wanted on the team, ah, it's a little bit itchy. Gotta scratch the war paint. Um, when I was doing research, I really, I took time. I looked up the potentials of what Lorelei could be and what Lance could have and Agatha. Um, all thanks to Cerebi, which they're not a sponsor, but if they ever did sponsor us, that would be freaking awesome. But it's just a great resource that I used um, to try to figure out, if anything, just like a general idea of what this is going to look like. Um, so it's not perfect for the rival fight, because I know the rival has some different Pokemon. Um, but we'll really see once we get in there what it's going to be like. And we're going to try to avoid these trainers because there's no reason for us to fight them anymore. Um, and like some of these wild Pokemon are like level 34. So, ooh, let's get this TM. Sandstorm, not going to use it. If we get some crazy TM, I will definitely reevaluate what our movesets are on our Pokemon and just seeing how we want to go about facing the Elite Four. But... We need to get a boulder from here. Good grief, all the way over here. Ugh. We're too far into it now that I don't wanna have to worry about um, getting all the stupid stuff. Okay, so let's try to get that TM. 
Perfect. If we go that far, we miss him. We have hail. Actually, could be really good. I don't know who I would teach it to. Just because I don't know what benefit there would be for... What, like, what the benefit would be to put that over a different... Um, over a different move. So, I don't... I don't find it really that necessary. I don't think that item is that good. I don't want to have to fight somebody for that item. I just want to get through Victory Road, please. Um, what's back here? I think we already did this to get to Moltres. Yeah, because we already did that. Overheat. You know, if we would have had a Moltres, that would have been really cool. Um, but let's go up. Because I think what we might need to do, we might need to get the... Um, might need to get this stone and just punch it out of there. Kool-Aid, use strength. Thank you. Okay. Now let's just keep trying. Um, I guess we'll try and do this. Because now we have another boulder, so I think it's okay. Um, but let's just look. Is there any way for us to actually, like solve this puzzle with this. Let's run, because those are scary. Okay. Um, I'm like, we already fought Moltres. So there's an item up there. Good grief. Am I going to counter Pokemon every five steps? Guard specs. Perfect. Free money. Okay, we're going to run. Oh, it reset. I guess we'll just try again. Run. Run, run. Oh, so we have to fight this guy. Freak. Okay, he has him a choke. Level 43. We're just going to go surf. Definitely outspeed. So that's not an issue. Okay, Machoke is down. He has a Machop. Surf will definitely do a lot of damage, so I'm not really concerned about that. Perfect. And then Machoke. Boom. Okay, get out of here. Achoo! But there's $1,000, so that'll be very good. Very, very good to have. And we're just going to run because we already beat all of your brethren. Um, so that still needs that spot. Let's see. Because if we go up here, let's say we try to go over here. So we can't do that one. So we're going to have to go here. Perfect. Okay. Let's see first off if that boulder... Because is there a white switch over here? Okay, perfect. Okay, we're just gonna run. Run. Oh, there should be a switch over here. <sighs> I wanted to save our money and not spend it on repels because I thought that would be a better use of our money. Also, I figured out the, um, the slot machines in um, Celadon and that ice beam that um, Blastoise knows came from using lots of time and lots of money and also using the wonderful resource of YouTube to figure out the best way to try and get um, I don't know, the three, whatever it is, a match. I don't know. I don't gamble. So, um, so I'm not familiar with the terminology, but we did it. We had to use those little things to be able to get the little thing that we need. Okay, let's see. Is it worth it to fight her? Um, no, I guess not. If I don't have to, I'm not going to. Um, okay, perfect. So we're going to run from you. We're going to kick you down. 
and we can't actually go down there yet. So, we're just gonna have to go kick this up. We're gonna go back over here, we're gonna go down and maybe get past the one with the uh, dragon trainer. Let's just see if there's a boulder. There is a boulder, perfect. But we have to use strength on this floor too, perfect. Uh, while I'm kicking this boulder, how are you guys doing? Are you doing good? I hope you're doing good. Oh man, that was a little bit scary. Oh man. A few moments later. So, let me explain. Let me take some time to explain this. So far we have swept Lorelei with pretzels. But what happened was, why did we skip from one to this? Because I forgot to click the record button. So, we're here right now. We're stressed, sold practically everything that we own, at least the important stuff. Well, the not important stuff, I guess. We sold TMs, but made it through Victory Road. We didn't fight a single trainer after we moved that boulder. Didn't fight a single trainer, okay? Didn't fight a single one, which is fantastic. So, made it all the way up here. Nothing crazy, no crazy shenanigans. Healed up, bought some, bought some full restores put items on our Pokemon, and it's basically just citrus berries. But then here we are. Uh, Pretzels has one-shot every Pokemon with Thunderbolt. You are now up to speed, and we are still recording. So, we're doing good. We're doing good, you know? It's the finale, you know? Of course we're doing good. And yes, headband, eye paint, this is insane. But, Jinx is psychic and eyes. Bite could work pretty well. Thunderbolt is also really strong. I don't imagine Jinx really harming us too much. So we're gonna go bite. Super effective, it only does half, and we flinch it, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So far, we don't have to use a Lepaberry, and Pretzels absolutely swept Lorelei. Absolutely swept. Um, and again, I really do apologize for not hitting the record button. That is my mistake, but you didn't really miss out on much, thank goodness. Thank goodness. But we've done it. We're here. We beat one, one Elite Four member. One Elite Four member. So, now here, before we fight Bruno, um, we're definitely gonna save it again. Are you kidding me? Um, but I do wanna switch up our lead. So, I want, I don't want pretzels. I'm afraid of having tail and chicken out so I think we're gonna go Jackie I think that's the best option because Jackie can definitely do some damage to the onyxes that Bruno has so that's kind of what we're hoping for right now we're hoping we're hoping for a lead with onyx so we could do a sky uppercut take it out here's the onyx there's Jackie. Come on, Jackie. Oh, we're going to go Sky Uppercut. We land it. Let's see. Do we take it out? I'd be surprised if we didn't. We did. Perfect. Super effective. Onyx is out of here. Hitmonchan is out here. I think we're just going to go another Sky Uppercut. And we land it. I don't know how much we'll do. Ooh. Oh, no. I have no words. I have no words. No words, but Jackie was really the most necessary for this. We shoot out speed. He goes full restore. So that's perfect. We go wing attack. We outspeed. Boom. Out of here. Fantastic. Probably going to go Onyx. Ooh, he goes Polyrath. We're going to go wing attack. We outspeed. We take it out. We don't. He goes Rock Tomb. Please let us live. Okay, that's perfect. Speed fell. That's also fine. Oh, he's going Focus Punch. That's scary. But we took out Polyrath. Perfect. Here comes Machamp. We go Wing Attack. Now that it's like just straight fighting, he goes Bulk Up. I could see a full restore coming out. Oh, Citrus Berry? Citrus Berry? 
Okay, yeah, I was like, after the citrus berries, there's probably not going to be a full restore. I'd be really surprised. Okay, and then here we go. Oh, Hitmonlee. Ooh, we still got to go wing attack. Still got to go wing attack? Come on. Perfect. Perfect. Sadly, it has not been a clean sweep. It has not been a clean sweep because we lost Jackie. But Jackie was a worthy loss. Jackie did so much. Jackie punched so hard that it just demolished. But I was more afraid of switching in a Pokemon. And my reasoning for that is because it's scary. So I didn't want to do that. But now... We have both pretzels and Kool-Aid. They both know bite. Um, I think chicken. I think chicken has the black glasses. I don't know if it's worth it to switch. So I think we're just gonna, in case chicken has to come out, we're gonna give it, um, we're gonna let it still have that. And yes, I'm gonna give chicken the max potion because I am too scared that any amount of damage being gone was too much. So here we go. Oh, and the Lavender Tower music. It's so good, dude. It's so good. So good. This has been an absolutely insane sweep. Thank goodness. Um, but I still think we're going to lead... We're gonna lead Kool-Aid. I think Kool-Aid is probably the strongest. It's not the fastest, but its special attack is really good. Really, really good. So we've got Gengar. I don't see a world when he's really, really gonna hurt us. So we outspeed, we go bite. It's super effective. He goes double team. I hate double team. But if we need to, we can always switch in. Um, we can always switch in pretzels and go for shockwave. So Agatha sent out Goldbat. We do have Ice Beam, and that should be super effective and it should take it out anyway. It shouldn't be an issue. Wow, it doesn't? Oh my gosh. Well, now let's just go bite. It still doesn't. Oh, but we didn't get poisoned. Oh, full restore, perfect. Of course, we're gonna go ice beam. Okay. Took it out, perfect. Probably got a high roll there. We have wheezing. Wheezing, we're just gonna go surf. Because at most it poisons us and we switch out. Go sludge bomb, okay. It probably won't do too much. Didn't do too much and it didn't poison us either. So we're, we're kind of in the clear here. Thank goodness. Um, we have Arbok. We're intimidated, but that's okay because we're just going to go surf again. But if we need to, we can switch out to Gobstopper. If it gets a little bit scary, we can switch out to Gobstopper. So we go Citrus Berry. I think, I think we switch out. I think we switch to Gobstopper. I don't want to waste... Waste not, want not, you know? So we're not gonna waste, so we don't have to want. But, Gobstopper did get poisoned, which does suck. But, we go Earthquake. And that's what we need. We really need the Earthquake. And we take out the Arbok, perfect. I never thought I'd be using a Golem in one of these because of all the trade evolution stuff that they have in games. Um, but, here we are. So we're gonna go Earthquake again. He goes Shadow Ball. It shouldn't do too much. It didn't, but it lowered our special defense. Ah, oh, Gengar has Levitate in this game. But that's okay, because we go Pretzels. I could see it going for a double team, but I could also see it still go for Shadow Ball. It does, it's going for the defense lowering. It's a little bit scary. We for sure outspeed though, and we have the leftovers. So we should be okay to go Bite. And it does about half. It goes Sludge Bomb. Okay, we have leftovers. We outspeed still. We still outspeed. Oh. That might have made it very not good for us. 
I think we have to go Thunderbolt. I think the stab is better than the super effective. And I think Thunderbolt might be stronger than Bite. Okay, there it is. We did it. Beat Gengar. Perfect. Perfect. Yes, we got five grand. That's pretty cool triumphant music. You win. Now I see what Professor Oak had in you. Thank you. Thank you, Agatha. But here we are. We're going to go... Do we just use full restores? We definitely use a full restore here. Get rid of the poison. Um, and then let's use... Let's just use a max potion here. You know, you might as well. And then we'll still have enough full restores for everyone on our team plus one. Because of Jackie. <laughs> so sad. Um, but we do need to make sure to give... Kool-Aid a citrus berry again. Um, because that's the only Pokemon that you used a berry. Yes. Yes, it is. Okay. Perfect. But now... Now we save again. 137 minutes or hours? Wow. So beautiful. How beautiful. Okay. Now we're going to fight Lance. Plan for Lance. So, Blastoise has Ice Beam. We have Pretzel that knows Thunderbolt. We also have... Um, Aerodactyl, that knows Hyper Beam, which would be pretty good. Um, but Blastoise also knows Protect. So, I think the lead with Blastoise is probably... Is it the best? Because I could see him leading with the Gyarados. So then, the Pretzel lead would be good. Because if he leads... If he leads Dragonite... Dragon Flying. Okay. Thunderbolt will still do a lot. Whether or not it's super effective as a material, it will still do a lot of damage. Um, but we have the Dratinis, or the Dragonairs, if he has Dragonairs. Those will go down to the Ice Beam. And he's got Protect. And then there's an Aerodactyl that could also benefit from the Ice Beam. And then Gyarados is definitely a Pretzel thing. So I think the Pretzel lead is definitely... Oh. Just have to change how I'm sitting so my butt doesn't fall off. Um, so we're definitely gonna we're gonna lead Pretzel. We're gonna lead Pretzel because if he leads Gyarados, then we're gonna win. In my opinion, we're gonna win. Make sure to stay hydrated. There's my there's a water bottle. Not a sponsor. Nobody's sponsoring this. But if you'd like to reach out for sure. But he did lead Gyarados, and we have Pretzels. So the Intimidate goes off. Thank goodness we don't need it. But we do need the Thunderbolt. We do outspeed. Okay. We do take it out in one hit. Perfect. Pretzels is so cracked. I'm so glad you guys didn't make a decision to choose something other than Pretzels. And I got to make that decision. Um, but he has Seedra. We're going to go another Thunderbolt. I did not... I didn't even think he was going to have a Seedra. Um, but we took it out. Perfect. So Pretzels was a fantastic lead. Ooh, Charizard. I think Charizard, I actually want to go Gobstopper. If anything, for a good switch. If anything, for a good switch. Because he can go Flamethrower. It's not going to do a lot. And he doesn't have Levitate. So we really could just go Earthquake. Oh, because he's Flying type. Oh. But we're going to go Rock Slide then. Hopefully we can take you out. And we do. Fantastic. Good job, Gobstopper. We have Aerodactyl. I need to switch. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. I need to switch. Um, we could switch in Tail. I don't see why that would be more beneficial than Kool-Aid. Because Kool-Aid... Kool-Aid will definitely be able to take the Rock Hit. It could go for Protect. It'll have the Ice Beam. It won't outspeed, though. So we're still going to go Kool-Aid. Probably going to take... I'm expecting a rock move. Rock or ground? Ancient power, rock. Okay. Just don't get the boost. You did not get the boost. We're going to go protect. And we're going to see if you go hyper beam. You go ancient power. Okay, so we should still be fine. So we go ice beam. He goes for ancient power again. We take it. We go ice beam. 
Okay. Um, I could see him using a potion. I don't imagine a world where he does. But let's protect anyway. Just in case he goes for the Hyper Beam. He does. Fantastic. Ice Beam. Oh, he lands it anyway? Okay, I guess protect didn't even matter. <sighs> okay, so Kool-Aid is out of commission right now. No Citrus Berry is worth um, losing Kool-Aid. But we have the Dragonite now. now. So we can always switch in. Let's go Protect. And then we'll see what he's going to do and see if Pretzel can take it. Pretzel might not be able to take that. Ooh, this is scary. Because I don't know who outspeeds. I could imagine Dragonite being fast. Um, I'm 151. 231 with it up in defense. <sighs> or up in speed, I mean. We have to try. We have to try. Please be able to take one. Please be able to take it. Because you have to recharge. So if we can just take one. Okay, we took one. We have the leftovers. He's going to have to recharge. So then we go Thunderbolt. We outspeed. Can we take it out in one hit? We don't. We get the Paralysis. Must recharge. I could see him definitely going for a Hyper Beam, but we outspeed. He didn't go for a Potion. Do we get the, do we get the KO? We don't get the KO. I cannot believe we just low rolled. I cannot believe we just low rolled. That is absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. And now he's going to go for a full heal. <sighs> now he's going to go for a full heal. He has Citrus Berry. We have to go Hyper Beam. Oh, he doesn't. Oh my gosh. That was a throw. That was such a throw on his part. That was massive. Holy cow. Holy cow. Oh, now we have to fight blue. Now we have to fight blue. Okay, but we have to do major, major, major damage control. Okay. So, pretzel. We switch down to the bottom. Okay, so. Let's take a look at this. We're going to go full restore. We're not even wasting time. We're definitely going to go full restore. We're going to go full restore. Okay. Um, berries. Let's do citrus. I don't want to use it. I want to give it. I always mess that up. Kool-Aid gets that. I don't think that... Even looking back, I don't think Pretzel having um, a Citrus over Leftovers would do anything different. It was the missing... It was the getting the low roll. Getting the low roll is what messed us over. But we are going to use these. Um, just have Hyper Beam as high up as possible. Surf. And we're going to use it also on... We didn't really use Ice Beam. But it's good to have anyway. We're going to use this on Gobstopper using Earthquake. Use it on Rock Blast. Okay, so we didn't go out with Rock Blast. Why did I say that? It was Rock Slide. Okay. Um, I think that's it. Citrus Berry is good. Don't want to worry about that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Okay. So I think he's actually going to lead something. He's either going to lead his Pidgeot, who will go down to a rock slide. He's going to lead Jolteon, who would go down to an earthquake. He's going to lead Marowak, that would go down to an earthquake. If he leads... He won't lead... Vile Plume. He won't lead Vile Plume. But we'll definitely be able to pivot. Because we could go 
We don't even need to pivot. We could probably just take a decent hit with Gobstopper and then go into, um, we could go into Slowbro. This is it, everybody. This is it. This is it. He went on to Pidgeot, as I suspected. I don't want to risk the Rock Blast, so I'm going to go Rock Slide. He goes Steel Wing. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's actually okay. That's actually totally fine. And we take it out. Okay, that was totally fine. Sheesh, Gopsopper is cracked. So he went out into the Marowak. I think we go Earthquake. We outspeed, which is very surprising. I didn't think Gobstopper was really that fast. He goes Earthquake. Now do we take this? We, we do kind of take that. And we get the Citrus. Let's see. We outspeed though. So let's go for Earthquake again. I mean, even if we kind of low roll, we should still be okay. And we are okay. Fantastic. Who else do you have? You have Vile Plume, shiny Vile Plume, of course. How could I forget you? Um, I think we go out into Chicken. I think that's worth it because we do have two other Pokemon. Because Giga Drain, it will hurt. It will hurt a lot. Actually, not as much as I thought. Never mind. We go Wing Attack. Probably take it out in two hits. Two hits. Oh! Oh my gosh. My life flashed before my eyes. It flashed right before my eyes. I saw I aged to the ripe old age of age. Oh my gosh. He's still going to take three. He withdrew Vile Plume. That's huge. Goes Jolteon. Does not do good. We don't risk it. We don't risk it. Not in this battle. Not in this battle. Not when we're already two Pokemon down. Now we go Earthquake. He went Flash. Accuracy. We still land it. Take that, Jolteon. You're nothing compared to Pretzel. You're nothing compared to the Pretz. Okay, so back into Vile Plume. I am going to switch again. Because we've already done this dance. This is round two of this dance. He goes full restore. We've done this before. We go wing attack. Oh my gosh! I could not have asked for a better time to crit. That was pure, pure beauty. But now, the question is, do we go bites because we have the black glasses on? Or do we go hyper beam? We go bite. We go bite. We have to go bite. Super effective. Didn't do too much. Surf. Probably going to do a lot. Probably going to hurt a lot. See you later, chicken. You were so good. You were so, so good. But now we go Kool-Aid. We go Kool-Aid. Water's not going to do too much to us. We're going to go Bite. Still did pretty good. He goes Thunder Wave. That's a little scary. Um, I think we just Bite again. He goes Psychic. It shouldn't do too much. Okay. He's probably going to go Potion. So let's just go Bite again. Went Full Restore. We go Bite. Perfect. We're going to go Bite again. He's going to go Psychic again. Okay. We got the Para. That's not good. But we did get the Citrus. We did get the Citrus. We go Bite again. He goes Psychic. He outspeeds us. And our Special Defense fell. We did get the Bite off. We did get the Bite. Let's see who else do we have left. We have Tail. Mm, brother against brother. The thing is, we won't, we won't outspeed with Kool Aid ever, and he's paralyzed, and he's paralyzed, and he's paralyzed. 
Christ. Oh, Kool-Aid. Oh, I'm not ready to give you up. I'm not ready to let you down and turn around. Oh, no. Because if we go protect, we could still miss. We could still get paralyzed, and that would be so bad. But then, if we don't... And he just doesn't move, and then we risk another on the bite, but the protect always goes first. Oh, my goodness. He goes psychic. Kool-Aid goes down. Kool-Aid went down. We have Tail. Come on, Tail. Come on, Tail. Come on, Tail. Let's go Disable. So we can't go Psychic. I think we just bought us a move. We did just buy us technically a turn. Let's go Headbutt. He goes Surf. It should not do a lot. No, it doesn't do a lot. We go Headbutt. Okay, we're going to go Headbutt again. He goes Full Restore. Headbutt. Wow, already not disabled. We're going to go Psychic. He goes Surf. Does not do a lot. Psychic. See how much you do. Does more than Headbutt. So he goes Surf. We go Psychic. I'd be very surprised if he still had a full restore in the back. We're paralyzed. But Citrus pops. So that's good. He's got Surf. Let's go Disable. Let's go Disable. Let's go Disable. Paralyze again. That was bad. We go Psychic. He goes Surf. Oh my gosh. Psychic. Okay. Go Psychic again. That's a crit. That's bad. But that's okay. That's okay. And if he uses... Um, if he uses an item... Like, if he uses a full restore, that's okay. We still just have to go Psychic. He goes Surf. I think it does more than 24. It does. Tail goes down. The paralysis was so bad. I could see him going for a paralysis again. Okay, let's check this. Summary. So, 87. Okay, how do I get to... um? Chicken gobstopper. 112. 112. 112. We should outspeed. We have to go Earthquake. We have to go Earthquake. Have to go Earthquake. Because he's going to go for speed control. I outspeed him. So he's going to go for speed control. We land the Earthquake. Oh my gosh. Okay. One Mon. One Mon left. One Mon left. Ooh, and it's a rapid ash. Oh my gosh, I could not have asked. I could not have asked for a better for a better last month. I could not have asked for a better last month. Woo! Yes! Yes! Yes, Gobstopper, yes! Oh my gosh! Yes! We are the league champion. We have officially beat Pokemon Recharged Yellow. We have done it, everybody. We have done it. I can't tell you how excited I am, guys. I literally cannot tell you how excited I am. This, this is wild. I've, to be honest, I've never beaten a Nuzlocke before on this channel or like personally, whatever. I have never beaten a Pokemon Nuzlocke. And here we are beating the first Nuzlocke on the channel. We finally, we did it. We had faith. Really, once we got past Misty, we got good encounters. We were cooking. Going for the Charmander was literally probably the best decision. Charizard carried us through. Carried us through. And it was only a stupid decision that took him out. It was my stupid decision. But guess what? We learn. We learn in this house. We learn in this house. We put on a headband. We put on face paint. We saved the game. We look at this Hall of Fame. Sheesh, bars. My goodness. But we have Gobstopper the Golem. We have Kool-Aid the Blastoise. We have 
Chicken, the Aerodactyl, who is a newer addition. Tail, the Slow King. We have our Jolteon Pretzels, who did so much work. And we have Jackie, who was not on the team for very long, but Jackie did so much work. Jackie did so much work all throughout the other stuff. But here we go. Hall of Fame, Phantom, 137 hours, 18 minutes, most likely less. But here we go. We are the league champion, everybody. League champions in 10 runs. Here we go. We did it. We officially have done it. Guys, I can't tell you how excited I am. I'm very glad. Well, no, I'm a little bit sad. I would have loved to have posted last week. But taking the time to calculate the team, formulate the team, level them up, get the right moves, get everything that we needed. It was so worth it. Victory is so sweet. My goodness. And now we're gonna let the credits roll. Thank you, Jaizu, for such a phenomenal game. Thank you so much for such a phenomenal game. Really, there's nothing else about it. We were able to have such a fun time because of Jaizu and Citrus Bolt, Daiokishu, Hio. Let's see all these other people. Mike, Eket, Merp, thank you all for working on this game. Pret, Pori Map, Pori Script. Wow. WL2S, MGBA, GitHub. Wow, those are also important. A Sprite. Oh, you already know, guys. I love A Sprite. And then Crystal Dust Team, Maria Faith, Chaos Rush. Thank you. Thank you for the sound effects. Go Ichinose. Thank you so much. There is our boy Charizard. Game designers. Thank you, Masuda. Thank you, all of these people. But while these are playing, again, thank you so much, Chaizu. But the next game that we are going to play is Pokemon Unbound. I am very excited to play it. I have heard great things. I have only seen a little bit of it. Only a little bit. And I don't know too much about it. But that's what we're going to be playing. If I can get it all figured out, which I probably will. First video is going to be coming out next week. So you can all look forward to that. And it's going to be so much fun. I'm so excited. I'm so excited for just a completely new experience. But I will miss Recharged Yellow. I really will miss Recharged Yellow. But that's the good thing about YouTube. It's a good thing about YouTube. It's going to be on here. You know, it's going to be here for us to all go back and watch. We're all going to be able to look at the growth that has taken place. Because if we think about like the first videos on the channel, you know, like the champion challenge back in Pokemon Red, you know, if we think about that guy and think about this phantom now, it's night and day. It's night and day in having fun making videos. I love making videos, you guys. I don't think you, anybody understands. Playing video games is so fun, but it's so fun sharing it with people. I love sharing it with all of you guys. Thank you guys all for so much support. Thank you for everything. Um, I'm probably going to continue to let the credits roll because these people deserve it. You know, these people made an incredible game. They deserve to do it. So, if you're ever watching movies as well, credits are important because that's somebody's kid, you know? What if that's you? It could be you someday if you like movies. So, it's always good just to let them play. Just to let them play. We're not even going to speed up. No, we're going to let these play because these people have done a lot of work. Thank you so much, Jaizu. This was such a fun game, such a fun series. The quality of life changes were absolutely fantastic. You, you did a phenomenal job. Thank you so much. Really, truly from the bottom of my heart, thank you for making such a great game. Really appreciate it. Um, and for those of you that don't know about Jaizu, go in the description down below. Jaizu does not sponsor this. We're just lucky enough to play a wonderful game that Jaizu is taking the time to make. But all their links are in the description down below, and they have more links from those links to other things that they might be interested in you seeing, other Pokemon games, things like that. But that is the end. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really have loved doing this, you guys. But next week, Pokemon Unbound, it's coming. Thank you guys for being here for the victory. Make sure to stay hydrated.
Stay hydrated and stay hydrated. Just kidding. Make sure to stay hydrated, keep smiling, and I'll catch you in the next one.